Am I the asshole for not giving my brother my college fund after he was cut off for coming out? My 18-year-old brother recently came out as gay and my grandparents, who are homophobic AF like they don't even hide it, didn't take it well. My parents obviously support him coming out, but my grandparents have cut him off financially. See, for all of us, my grandparents set aside separate college funds over the years. We don't necessarily have to use it for school, which was my case. I'm 27 years old and I had a son my second year of college, so I decided to get into an apprenticeship program instead and use that money for baby expenses and to save up for him. My girlfriend and I are managing well working full time. We don't touch that money at all unless it's for him. My brother knows I still have this money and he's asking me to help invest in his future since it was always a given that our grandparents would pay for his college. Our parents are well off financially, so he wouldn't receive much in terms of financial aid, but they don't want to cover for college tuition because he's an adult now. My sister already graduated and used what was left of the money to put a down payment on a house. I'm really his only option and he's desperate. Because I'm refusing, my brother is calling me a traitor and it's not fair for him to be cut off like this just because he's gay. And I agree. Nobody's happy with my grandparents, but we're using this money for our son. He said he needs it now and I'm being completely selfish keeping this money to myself. My sister agrees with him and that life's been hard enough on him already because of this, so at least I can do as a brother is help him get an education. So am I the asshole for not wanting to give him the money? So me and my girls go to a little party and right away I see someone that I'm feeling, you know, I'm like, oh, that guy's cute. And I don't know if it's a manifestation or what it is, but this guy ended up approaching me. So there we are both talking and honestly, he gave out a really good vibe. So I continue to talk to him throughout the night. So meanwhile, my girls are having a great time. I'm over here speaking to this guy. It's one of those times, guys. And that usually doesn't happen, but um, this time it did. And that's when you know I'm really feeling someone, okay? So I ask him, I'm like, do you have kids? Do you have a girlfriend? Like, what's your situation? He's like, no, I'm single. I don't have kids. So I'm like, boom, perfect. I'm single. I don't have kids. So he's like, well, let me take you out tomorrow. And you already know I said yes. I'm like, let's do it. So we exchange phone numbers. I go home. It's the next day. And I don't hear anything from him. Guys, I'm running out of time, but like for part two. So after feeling this guy and him saying that he was going to take me out the next day, well, that next day came and he never texted me. Like he literally ghosted me, but I did have his phone number and he had mine. And girl, you already know I was not about to text him first. Fast forward, I go to a club with my friends and I'm standing there in line and all of a sudden I see him with another girl. They stand right behind us and I'm confused like, is this the sister? Is this like an acquaintance? Like who is she? This girl ends up talking to one of my friends. So I asked my friend, I'm like, oh, you know her? And she's like, yeah, like I know her. And I'm like, uh, who's the guy that she's with? And she tells me that's her baby daddy. And my mouth dropped. She said that they were always on and off. But either way, why the heck would you lie about having a kid? This guy clearly told me that he did not have a girlfriend or had kids. Yeah, got me fucked up. <laughs> so uh, me and my ex-boyfriend and my brother, we go to a work event together, right? My younger brother was around 17, 16 years old. So we start driving to the event and it's an hour away. We get there and... And we don't know where the location is at. They had given us the wrong location. So at the end of the day, we didn't get there and we had to drive back. So we're on the freeway and my brother's in the back and I'm on the passenger seat and he is driving my car. For some weird reason, he would never drive his car. So I touched his face and he got very upset. He started screaming at me and he's telling me that I could make him crash and all this and that. And I was like, okay, like that's true. Like I'm sorry, you know? And around this time, it's already 11 and 12 at night. And this guy just kept on screaming at me. And I'm like, dude, like, chill. I have my brother in the back. Please have some respect. And he just wouldn't stop. I was like, this man isn't even my father to be screaming at me this way. And I was not going to take that disrespect. Like for part two. My ex-boyfriend screaming at me non-stop and I have my brother in the back. And to be honest, it was very normalized in our relationship to scream at each other. But in this situation, I did have my little brother in the back so I didn't want him screaming at me. So I keep on telling him to stop and he doesn't stop so I tell him, I'm like, you know what, if you're gonna be screaming at me, I don't want you driving my car, I don't want you inside. And he gets upset and he's like, oh really, it's like that? And I'm like, hell yeah, it's like that. So he pulls to the side of the freeway and he gets off the car. And he was always very petty. He probably thought that I was going to be like, no, don't leave, don't leave. But I was like, you know what? 
I'm not tolerating this. So I go from the passenger seat to the driver's seat and I just leave. He can easily get himself an Uber or call his mom. So I drove off and honestly, now that I'm old, I do not tolerate that type of disrespect. Absolutely not. Not today, Satan. <laughs> So I was at my godfather's funeral and after the service they had food. So I was sitting down eating and my mom comes up to me and she's like, hey, I want you to meet someone. And I'm like, oh, okay, who is it? And she tells me that it's one of her guy cousins that I've never met before. So I go up to him and I'm trying to be polite and I'm like, hi, nice to meet you. And he looks at me and he's like, oh, you're the girl that got kidnapped, huh? He tells me this in front of everybody. And I awkwardly just say, oh, yeah. And then I look at my mom like, what the hell? And then he asked me, he's like, so what happened out there? Why were you kidnapped? And guys, I'm already going through it. I don't want to sit down and talk about my trauma. And mostly because he's like laughing about it and like smiling about it like if it's funny. So I start thinking, I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to be talking to ignorant people. So I just walked away. And my mom comes after me and she's like, you embarrassed me. And I'm like, girl, he should be embarrassed himself. He needs to read the room. So I was on a date and this man took me to a restaurant. When we were on our way over there, he was acting normal. He looked happy and he looked like he enjoyed my company. But the moment that we showed up to the restaurant, his whole face changed. It looked like he did not want to be there with me at all. So I'm just trying to talk to him and try to like make him laugh. But homeboy was not having it at all. There was a really pretty girl that was our waitress. And I was being nice to her and everything. And he was too. But she had forgot our Sprite and forgot the meal that he got. And at one point, she messed up on our drinks. And I tell him, I'm like, oh my god, she's probably having a bad day. But uh, kind of bad because customer service you know so he agrees and he's like yeah like i agree with you this is a man that i've been on multiple dates with and at one point i thought that him and the waitress had a thing going on and that's why he started acting up and i'm gonna tell you guys exactly why like for part two i did think that the man that i was on a date with and the waitress had a thing going on because first of all he started acting up the moment that we got there before we left i ended up paying and i didn't mind it because i've been on multiple dates with him so i was like ah whatever i don't want to sound like i'm toxic or anything but the thing that didn't sit right with me was that even though i left a tip he wanted to leave a bigger tip he ended up tipping her 20 dollars, which we were not even at a high-end restaurant and he doesn't really tip like that and i let him him know like what the hell you never even tip like this usually so i just thought it was a little weird especially since the customer service wasn't really on point ah and i don't want to sound toxic at all guys but he ended up um folding the dollar bill and he put it under his drink his specific drink like why couldn't you just put it there or put it under my drink but yeah i called him out for it i was like what the hell okay weird <laughs> but guys i could just be tripping or maybe i am just toxic so me and my date start walking to the car and i'm just clueless on what had happened i'm like that is so weird and i honestly didn't get a good vibe from it so you know i'm not here to bullshit i speak my mind and if i'm on a date and i don't like something and it's bothering me then of course i'm gonna tell him so i tell him i'm like i find it kind of weird that i tipped her and i paid for the food and you were in a bad mood and there was a bad customer service and you still decided to pull out a 20 dollar bill and tip her like i understood if he was in a good mood and he was like you know what i feel like tipping someone today and blessing their day but homeboy was mad the whole time so i was just confused and his response was that the waitress and him didn't have a thing going on and that i was acting like the crazy toxic girlfriends that get posted on tiktok i was like wow you know what i'm just gonna stay quiet let's go home let's go home so I asked my mom if she was down to go to the store. Um, I wanted to buy some clothing and she was like, yeah, let's go. So we ended up going. We were in the section where they have a lot of purses and we were just looking around and she's behind me and all of a sudden I hear someone scream at my mom. It was a girl's voice and she said in a very loud tone, excuse me, move. And I think, let me find out, someone is talking to my Mexican mom that speaks Spanish only like that. I'm super overprotective over my mother. So right away, I turn around and I look at this girl and tell me why she is my ex-coworker. And she starts laughing and she's all like, ah, ha, ha, did I scare you? And I was like, girl, no, you were about to get your ass whooped. Please never do that again and never talk to my mom like that. But after I was like, it's cool, girl, just don't do it again, you know? 
Maybe she didn't mean it that way, but I need to let her know. Thank you. 